Hey guys, so today we're gonna be replacing the window seal. You can find it on Z1 Motorsports. They're pretty pricey to be honest, but you know, if it works, it works. I've been getting puddles under my seats and all that. The water seemed to be coming in around this area because it like gets behind this. It doesn't seal along that. So first what you kinda wanna do is just get all these pops out. One, two, it should be a third one. And then this one, and then after that, you technically need to take this off, but what we do first, you kind of just pull it out from under here and you can see that there's like a metal bar behind here with screws and you just kind of want to unscrew those, all the screws and there's, there should be a pop. You got to take that out. If you don't, it can, it can actually break the panel I've heard, like the A, the A pillar. So yeah, get that out. And then once we get this piece out over here, we're gonna look back behind here and pop the pops out. There should be a pop around here, here, and here. I actually did it already on that side, so this side should be a little easier now. I'm also making this video because I could not find any videos on YouTube of someone doing this seal replacement. All I've seen is someone removing the A-pillar, and you do not have to remove the A-pillar to do this because these pops break really easily. So kind of just get your like gun and just take them all out. That's what I'm doing right now, the screws. Once I get all these screws out, I'm gonna pull this pop out too. You gotta be careful though, it's really delicate. So basically, um, before you actually take the screw out, because it's more rigid like this, it's not able to move right now, I'm just gonna try basically and kind of pull this pop out with these like little dikes. Um, kind of just like that, I'm gonna, not record this because I need my other hand too but I'll show you when it's done alright so I ended up literally just cutting the head off because it's I don't know if someone did this before me or if they all look like this but mine was really weird so now I'm just gonna continue to take the bolts out and then I'll show you when that's done after that we're gonna get to the panel the B pillar right here so here there was eight screws it feels like and then this is screwed here no there's not um, so then, I kind of just, since you took the thing out already, you could kind of just pull this. It will rip. It might rip, but it might not. See, it's just held on by adhesive. And since I'm trying to get to the, um, pops in here, there's like a pop right in there. I can't really see that, but it's there. Here. Hold this. Just wiggle it in. Just wiggle it gently. Good. Big. That's done. The other one's back here somewhere. Yeah, I know. Yep. Should I get this one first though? Nope, that's the hook. No, it's that's not. Slide. That one was just like that too. No, no. So kind of just work at it. Yep, there it was. And then it should slide And then up. you can pop the bottom one off, but I, it can also slide off because it has a hook design. Just like that. So see how it has a hook. Yeah, so when you put it back on, just slide up. And then, and pop, then pop those two in. Yep. There's that off. Now you have access to the where they're shipping. And then, so, now, I'm pretty sure, if you reach in here, it is possible to pull out this metal bracket up in here. So, I'll just kinda, I think you just can like push, push back like this. Well, you, when you take it up. up in the front, there are two pops, by the way, that are, that will be sli slid into this rail. So you need to just kinda pull it up and they come out. But now you can just kind of pull it. Just be very careful because this is a delicate, like, metal piece. All right, there, there you go. And then that comes out. So now all that holds it on is that right under this, where the window seats, there's adhesive along the entire entirety of the wall. So here's the new one. 
and you can actually see it kind of just seats the whole thing. We'll show you that on the installing process too. So now you just kind of got to be careful because what's in here is the plastic actually. This, yeah, see that all that plastic right here? That's the A pillar. So it's plastic. You can't pull hard on that because it will break. That is what this adhesive is attached to. So what we kind of do is just get get a heat gun and and come along it, starting from all the way down here, coming back. Here's the new new one. What the new adhesive looks like. Pull tabs. Yep, pull tabs. That goes like this. All right. Here's actually a pretty good view of it. See, it's all adhesive connecting it through the whole thing. My bad. So you just kind of, sorry, this is sunlight. Just kind of get rid of it. So basically what I'm going to do is we're going to just get our heat gun. You don't have to, like it comes off, see? But it like helps us get the adhesive off in the end because we're trying to um, get all of it off. So when we stick the new one on, we're gonna have like the best stick contact, you know. So I've, I've honestly just been pulling. Um, so if you do just wanna pull, since, since this is plastic, just make sure like when you're pulling this, that you're pushing pressure on this like right before you're pulling it because otherwise it will, if you pull it just like this, it will pull the plastic out and possibly break it. So just like hold with your fingers and pull at the same time. Like w w when you have both hands, of course. So like, if I put pressure, let's go wide lens, put pressure and pull. Kind of just comes off, but it's gonna leave all this residue. So we're gonna end up taking all that off and then cleaning it with like, bug and tire remover, and then a lot of finger work. <laughs> Weather shipping now completely gone. Here's all the adhesive that was holding it. Double stick tape. And it was all along here. This is that plastic I'm talking about. This is from the clip. Do you see how that's cracked? Those clips are a pain. And then just come all the way along. We're just gonna be removing all this old adhesive. So we're gonna use the, all the bug and tar remover. Then we're gonna wipe it with alcohol so we get the best sticking properties. And that's all the way down to here. There was one little thing here. That's what that mark is. So yeah. 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 They have the window right, right now. It seats into the rubber. Basically, but I'm just pushing the seal. Just get, you know, gets, uh, and then because this stuff just kind of comes off so easily. Not easily, but like right. if you yeah, curl it, I need to do it all yeah, along here. Really so that's what I'm doing right now. All right, so I got some of this stuff on the sock, and after I used my fingers, which are now like bright red, <clears throat> I uh, kind of pushed all of the adhesive off, kind of, that was there, like the big chunks of it. And now what I'm doing is, see like this stuff? Residue, residue like that. I'm just kind of wetting it with this gum gunk remover. I'm going over it, just going over it. Every now and then spraying some more on. And then I will pick at it and then just kind of get everything off, like till it's just nice and clean. After that, we're gonna use alcohol swabs to make the adhesive stick really well on the new weather shipping. So now I'm just getting these alcohol pad kind of and just wiping all where the um where the weather shipping was. Where that where we put that uh, bug remover, tire remover stuff, just nice and up in there, just all the way, just wipe it. Because if you do this, basically when um, alcohol is rubbed against that bug tire remover, that stuff prevents like adhesive from sticking. That's why we use it to remove it. So this gets rid of that. So now we could just go ahead and stick it on with no problems. I'm getting a new, new swap because this one's done. And just get the rest of this all the way down to here where it was, right there. So now it's all like kind of clean, smooth. 
there's like no more adhesive. So this is ready to be stick, stuck in to the, the trim um, piece. So now what we're gonna do is you, the you're act, what? The alcohol, have to clean it. What? Um, no, so we're gonna, so next you just wanna re-bolt this and there's, there's like holes that will align it, these tabs right here. So what we did, we're just leaving the pop out because that the pops that were in ours were really like, just they were bad, terrible. So it, and th it doesn't seem like there's a reason that we need them. So, but if you want to put yours back in, go for it. And we're just gonna put all the eight bolts back in, and then afterward we'll show you how to how this lines up to it. That's good. So once it's in, we're just gonna go and sure this section on this strip will line up with this. It's this lip that comes along here and I'll show you in a second all right so so you see this not this end bar this end bar just kind of goes in the middle this one but this middle one right here this groove goes on this metal lip on that bar you just installed and so what we're gonna do first to line it up we're gonna put all the pops in in the spots that they're supposed to be in like right here and then right around here and so as we pop those in we're gonna line line this up in the second the second groove the middle groove I guess you'd say yep. and see is so it, remember to have these available I didn't have those available because those are the sticky tabs So kind of lining it up. Yep. Just kind of pushing it onto that middle groove. And it's gonna to wanna to curl up because this tucks under there like that. So just continue pushing that. There you go. Um, it's not gonna stick yet because the adhesive is not peeled, but we're gonna pop that pop into right there. So the end of the metal is here. Careful you don't poke a hole. Yeah, the end of the metal is about right there. So that's where it holds it. it. Yep. Here's the back. There's stuff behind this too. There's like a groove. There's those, those things. Basically, you just want to get the rubber piece in the back over those, kind of like that. So, you tell them don't take the adhesive take off. So, don't take that tape off for the adhesive, or it's going to stick in the wrong place. So, basically, what you do, you align it completely, and then these tabs are like built. So, once it's on there, you could kind of just pull them slowly while it's still in place, and then you just kind of hold it. And then there's like a red tab. There's a red tab that will be up in here. Because you may have to still move this back and forth on that channel. Yep. So everything lines up. If your clips are too far in the wrong place, you want to make sure your leather strip's in the right place. See, so you can still move it. See, it's moving too. Yeah. So it's it nice going and back. tucked in. This one's going to get tucked onto there. And then that, you just kind of stuff up over that metal lip right up yep. in there. It's really dark, but and then there's that adhesive for that side of the cover right now. Is it on there? I don't know if it is. Alright, um, and then so that outer lip kind of just folds in under here. It's not quite right. So once everything's aligned. The red tab just kind of get on this side because it's sticky in there. See, it's just down again. Just make sure it's like wedged up, kind of. 
There's a tab that will go up in there. Still haven't taken that uh, adhesive at strip out, but it's just kind of put pressure. Is this too much? Just pull the molding out and then press. We we closed the door to test fit this before we took the strip off, and it looked good. So that's that stuck down. There's another. Did you take that one off already? Um, no. Okay, you put the pop in. There's another small tab right there at the bottom. Stick to the corner right here. And then that's good. So this part and this part is good. Now we just need to stick this whole part. And then there's another small stick thing right in there. So, now is the blue tab, but before you do that, you want to make sure it's sticking up, wedged up. You, to see this a little is fine, but it, it's like that. But it doesn't sit. It doesn't sit inside, it just kind of barely. But see, just as he pulls that lightly, just go slow, keep pressure, kind of push in. all the way around. Just comes all the way, literally all the way down. See now it's barely sticking, that's proper. Because the window comes and seats right under that, or in between it, like there. All right. And then in here, like, so basically right under here in this corner, there's one more tab. Just pull that tape off and put some pressure. This isn't popped in. Make sure that pops in. By the way, right under here, there are two white clips that pop in and slide down. Don't forget to put those in. We went around and had to redo that because we, I forgot. <laughs> it's okay though, got it. And then with this piece, spin on it. <laughs> that's just gonna, that piece is just gonna kinda slide up and connect to that bottom clip. Um, and then you'll basically just push, pop it in at least. Kind of up. I'm pretty sure it can pop out and you could put it in the piece, but we just ended up not doing that on either side because it works. It's tight, tight, and just clean it up, and that's pretty much it. Like, finally, a good seal all the way around. The leak was mainly this triangle part was like the source of all the water that would get in, and now it's like good. Because we had the leak and we replaced these window seals because we thought that was what was wrong. And what do you know, it still leaked after that, so. That was. You gotta replace them yeah. together. We replaced that and now that, so hopefully it's not leaking. I'll put a comment in about how it goes after like a month or so. Anyways, that's really it. Later, guys.